here it's retrieving the country where the country id is equal to 3 hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing good so today in this video we'll learn how to communicate with a third party in appian using connected system okay so without wasting further more time let's get right into the video so this time we will make use of two sites okay this is the site which will play the role of third party and here is this site which will start the communication so basically we will make it communicate with this site okay and the urls for both of the sites are different okay so in order to make the system communicate with the third party we will have to create a connected system and we create it just like how we create any other object in appian okay go to new from the designer menu you have to select this connected system okay here you can see a couple of options okay we will go with http because we are going to retrieve the data from a third party right so let's name it as is countries okay description then we have this base url we have to provide the url okay so this is a third party okay and here we have this url for fetching the countries right so i'll just copy this and paste the same over here okay and we have set up the authentication right we cannot retrieve the data if we don't have the right access okay so we have to set up the same authentication as we have set up in web api right it's api key authenticated okay so just select api key from the drop down and here you can see the two options header parameter where you have to decide whether to send as headers or parameters which completely depends on what the external system expects all right so header means if you are making an api call to authenticate with an external system using a token you would typically pass a token as a header okay and parameter means if you are querying a database and want to filter the result based on a certain criteria you know so in that case you might pass that criteria as a parameter but in our case our web api is api key based authenticated right header name is going to be appian api key the same which you can see as an instruction while creating an api key okay and here comes your api key okay i have kept it saved with me i'll just copy that and paste it over here okay i'll just hit this create button okay security is already in place as soon as i hit the save button the connected system will get created now using this connected system i have created a connection between the external system and the appian right so now let's create an integration which will allow my system to access and utilize the data from the external system cool so from the designer menu select integration okay there are three ways to create an integration user connected system create from scratch http only and duplicate existing integration so we will use a connected system because we have already set up the connection so using that connected system we will be creating an integration okay so you just have to type in the name of your connected system is countries cool now you have to name your integration that's gonna be is country data maybe okay and provide the description now let's try to send a request to the third party to see if it is a success or not okay test request it's a success and here you can see the data which is in json format in case you want to convert this data into appian value you have to select convert json to appian value from this drop down okay and then test your request again the conversion from json to appian has made the data more readable right i hope you guys are with me so far now let's say i want to filter my data based on a certain criteria cool but before that you have to make sure that whether your api supports filtering or not okay so let's go back to our web api and see what all parameters we have used for filtering the data okay so there is this id which is being used to filter the data by country id okay so we have to construct the same url in order to filter the data by id okay so let's create a rule input for that id 
and type should be number integer cool and now we will be defining the same in the relative path to construct the complete url okay so this is the base url and now we also want to filter the data by id so we have to construct the full url right so in the relative path we will be combining the base url with relative path to construct the complete url so whatever expression you provide here will be appended to your base url so let's go back to our web api and create a query parameter with the same name to see the complete url right so i'll create a new query parameter id okay and this will be appended to our base url and that is what our complete url is gonna look like so we just have to append this question mark id is equal to to our base url that means over here okay in the related path which will be appended to the base url to make it a complete url okay double quotes question mark id is equal to ampersand ri id okay just hit okay and in the url preview you can see it has combined the related path with the base url right and it has formed a new url which is same as what we have in here okay yeah so now if i try to filter this data by id let's pass two as a country id and test request here i have the filtered data if i pass the id as three and test this again here it's retrieving the country where the country id is equal to three so that's how it is working okay i'll just save my changes and in the next video i'll show you guys that how we can actually make use of this data okay so stay tuned for that that's pretty much for the day if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video until then cheers bye bye